you scared us for a little while there. You, uh, you're one of the most charismatic people in sports, and everyone got very scared with what happened to you in the Dominican. Uh, for those who don't know and aren't aware, can you tell us what happened there? And I, it was scary for everybody, nobody more than you. I don't know how, how bad those things got. Yeah, man, I, I got shot from the back, you know, and, and uh, I, you know, I spent quite a while in the hospital um, for two months. But thanks God, you know, I'm good, I'm healthy, you know, everything is going good. I can, you know, I got, I went back to my normal life and, and it's all good, man, all gravy, you know. I, 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 thinking about what happened to me, you know, and, 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 and going back to what just happened this past weekend with my man Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, his little girl Gigi, and, and all those older, the baseball coach, his wife and daughter, the two older ladies that were there, the pilot, you know. It's something that uh, it, it has been remarkable, you know. It's something that, that it's a heartbroken, you know. I got to meet Kobe, uh, uh, his presence, his personality, you know. You would think that you were going to meet just a basketball player, but he was also a great human being. He was, he was a guy who... You, it, it was a bag full of positivity, you know, full, full of good things coming at you. And, you know, hearing this news, man, is something that I, I was actually back in my country when I heard the news. I just got back, and and to be honest with you, it was heartbroken. I know, I mean, in my country, everything kind of shut down uh, uh, when I when the news broke out. And, and you know, it's, it's something that uh, it, it gets you thinking. It gets you... Uh, and, and it puts you in the spot. It, 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 you think about the beautiful family that he had, uh, how crazy he was about his, his girls, you know. Gigi, man, who was uh, the one girl out of all of them who he thought he was going to be a really good basketball player. He was putting all the effort, uh, 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 all the love on all of them, but Gigi was... And then this situation happened, man. This is something that is 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 eyes open, you know, and and you know, hopefully God give the strength to his family and and the other family member to recover and 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 deal with the situation, heal up, you know, and 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 because we know we're gonna have Black Mamba forever out here, man. Even if he's not he's not here with us because of his legacy, what he built, you know, and what we know that he was. Uh, David, we thought that was going to be you. We thought um, that is the fear that swept through America. I know that's the fear that swept through the Dominican. Uh, how close were you to dying? Like two months in the hospital, what was that like? Yeah, man, it was it was not fun. You know, it was something that uh, my family was there supporting me, friends, fans, you know, like, you know, God put everybody, line, lined everybody up, put everybody together to pray for me. And, and, and you know, we have no idea how many times I go to places and people be like, Papi, I'm so happy to see you. We pray for you. You know, I'm so glad you you are here with us. You know, I mean, I hear that every day, every time. And I feel so thankful and grateful to be able to have the second opportunity to be here and, and, and do things, you know, continue loving people and giving back and, 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 and doing things. That people always, I, I, what happened to me, after all, you know, he, he basically taught me a lot about things. And, and, and one of the things is, you know, I'm a guy that I come from nothing. I come from a poor family. You know, God gave me the opportunity to, to begin to be me. And, 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 and I never I, I walk away from where I come from. And that's why I'm the type of person that I am. And. You, you, you're not perfect, but you had the opportunity to get better at things. And, 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 and the most important thing, get back to the community. And that's what is important to me. David Ortiz with us, Big Poppy on ESPN Radio. One more question about this because I'm, I've been looking forward to seeing you again. You bring light into every room. You, people have an unusual <laughs> attachment uh, to you. And uh, when you were going through those two months, what was in danger? Like, what was happening inside your body? Can you explain to us sort of medically what was happening there and how scared you were? Well, I, I, I wasn't able to eat or drink anything for about six weeks. You know, everything was uh, through a tube that I, was, that I have going on through here. And, uh, you know, I, I had to fight with this uh, 
bacteria uh, for a while. You know, thanks God, uh, uh, the doctors and everybody at Mass General was incredible. These people took care of me the way, I mean, I always go back there just to check up on my doctor, Dr. King, and the whole team that worked with him. But it, it, it was something that it was very scary, you know. But I, I guess I was dealing with, with the best team of doctor that you can ever deal with. Matter of fact, you know, I, I after um, a couple of months after, my boy, Edwin Encarnacion, his dad was having this, this uh, liver cancer. And I called my people at Mass General, Dr. King, everybody, they lined everything up. But uh, his cancer was all, already spread out. And unfortunately, he, uh, he uh, passed, ended up passing away. But these people, you know, they are real. These people is, began to be your family when you really need it, you know. And I'm so thankful and grateful. And, and I thank the Mass General Hospital for everything they did for me and my family. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.